state of the tree line that defines the island at high tide, this is all completely submerged in water. It looks like one gigantic lake out there. The tidal differences here are so distinct, they actually have a folk tale. They say when William Seward purchased Alaska from the Russians, he waited until high tide to sign that paperwork. So the thought there being that you're buying land by the square kilometer, at high tide you're going to have a lot less land you got to pay for. Miles long, connected to the Juno Ice Field. Widest point of the glacier is 3.8 miles wide. It is receding. If you have very specific scientific questions, I recommend the visitor center. It's a wealth of information. Now I'm going to break the rules for you guys. I'm really not allowed to slow down out here, but I just happen to know the driver behind me. She's not going to tell on me. Your first view of the glacier is off to the left here. It might be a bit a bit foggy, but I think we should be able to make it out a little bit. So it's going to be at about 10 o'clock. <clears throat> Sometimes we can't see it from this far back, though. Yeah, you can make it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, so listen up. If you haven't been listening this entire drive, that's fine. You're on vacation. But right now, you got to listen uh, because this is the most important information of the entire trip. What I recommend you all do, I recommend you all walk Nugget Trail. That trail's relatively flat. It's not perfectly flat, but it's a lot like this one to the right. So there's a little up and down to it, but nothing too steep. Now, when you start that trail, a couple minutes out, there's a sign that says photo point with an arrow to the left. You walk out to that photo point, you get really good views of the glacier and waterfall from there. Now, after you've done that photo point, what I recommend you all do, I recommend you walk the rest of Nugget Trail. That entire trail takes most people 40 to 50 minutes to complete. So 20 to 25 to get out there, you turn around 20 to 25 to get back. You don't get the best views of the glacier from there, but it ends at the very base of Nugget Falls, a massive 300 foot waterfall just gushing into the lake. It's really nice, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you all how to get there, so listen up, but first, those of you who are whale watching, look out the front wings go up to the visitor center. You get really good views up there too because you're looking down on everything. But if you walk straight by that stuff without going up to the visitor center, you hit Nugget Trail, it's all labeled, you don't need a map. That's the fastest way in. If you're not in a rush though, I'd recommend you start here. This trail goes right to the front of the park where the Goat Stop, Nugget Trail, and the Visitor Center is. That's a wildlife viewing trail. It will add five or 10 minutes to your walk. These people are likely looking at salmon in the creek. Your best chance of seeing bear are back there. We're elevated safely up above and they're down below. Now we do have other trails in this park. They're all good. They have maps and info on all of them.